I didn't know that we were already started. Oh, God, God no! <laughs> Save the tree. Christmas wow. time is here. Happy Hanukkah. Happy, <laughs> <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, John. Down with Christmas. Down with Christmas. Smite that with your windy thing. You don't have to try to kill our joy. Hanukkah wins. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no. God. Oh, shit. Rose cursed. Well, <laughs> Rose cursed. <laughs> it broke. It broke. We stand broke. Oh no. <laughs> Lean it against the heater. <laughs> Lean it. <laughs> so safe. Oh, Everything is according to plan. <laughs> John, what have you done? Stop ruining Christmas. Hanukkah! <laughs> now you all have to come to my Hanukkah party. I we'll feel play like the dreidel. Right, right. <laughs> I don't want to spin. <laughs> I'll spin it. your dreidel, John, all night. What happened here? Bye, John. <laughs> He's on the tree. <laughs> Come back here. Come back. <laughs> Stop ruining Christmas stuff. Um, <laughs> okay, hold on. I think I can this was my robot. Okay. You got this. <laughs> Come on. It's in a bucket. Oh, that's a pretty cute bucket, too. That's fine. Yeah, it's just that is a cute bucket. <laughs> it looks like the Charlie Brown tree. Yeah, now it definitely yeah. looks like the fucking Charlie Brown tree. It's time for Our Christmas is ruined. Uh, thanks to John. Plan B will get that tree okay. now. It's we have to at least one more tree. Like, so good to swag. Not hardly so touch the tree. So good to swag. If John breathes too hard on the tree, it's going to fall. Is that the Taylor okay. joke? Okay. <laughs> <Probably> <laughs> yeah, no, my last day of class is going to be this. this. Um, yeah. Yes, that, that one I can do. <laughs> I just decided to volunteer instead, I'm sorry. John. <laughs> Challenger approach. Challenger okay. approach. Okay. Nope. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, John! No! Okay, do, do the other one then. Okay, ready? Wait, the, 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 you're the one you were doing! Let's go! <laughs> okay. It's 9 to 5 on Thursday. I'll tell Chris that she works 9 to 5 on Thursday. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's just do this now. I'm good. Kiss me. <coughs> under the mistletoe. That was the camera, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Cleaning out the cosplay closet. Gotta get it done, 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 done. It is that season where we kind of slacked off. We slack, slacked off. We got all our homestuck stuff. This is not all of it. A lot of it's in that pile of rubbish. Um, yeah, we've just kind of had where after con, things didn't get put back up where they belong. It's easier to have a closet where everything's organized, where all your wigs are easy to find and well taken care of. Mark Sheridan doesn't really look well taken care of. Um, but easier to find whenever things are organized. You have all your characters arranged from, you know, humans, low bloods, high bloods, and this hasn't at all been touched yet. Trying to get everything cleaned. He is wondering why everything is on the floor. Poor little thing. Got to get all the shoes taken care of as well. Organized. Normally, right after cons or a little after con, we try to do a big clean in here. That didn't happen. We've had a lot required of us. We've had a lot of issues and stuff come up. And then we had a big trip to Texas come up that we just... We didn't get around to actually cleaning this huge mess that we made over con season. So I felt really horrible because I couldn't even walk in here and really needed to get it done. So trying to sort, organize. KE is out buying me hangers because we really don't have many hangers for how much we have for outfits. So needed that. And right now I'm just trying to sort, organize, put everything together with the correct outfits. And oh boy, fun times. But it needs to be done. We're going to feel a thousand times better. Anytime that this closet is well taken care of, 
then it makes video shoots easier because all it takes is, okay, I need this character. Reach in and magically we have all of that character at our disposal. Really nice. I like having our wigs the way that we do. They're just on little coat racks up in here. Keeps them maintained, keeps them handled. We don't have to worry about them afterward because if they're hung up where they're supposed to be, then they're easy to get to and they're not getting all torn up as easy. I always recommend after a big cosplay day going in making sure that the outfit that you were wearing you put right back where it went. And I know that seems hypocritical because we didn't do that this time, but that's what we generally do and we were really good about it for over half a year. But then a lot of drama came up in the family, a lot of things happened that we really had too much required of us, and unfortunately we did slack. Slacking made a huge disaster. So we're gonna try to keep up with it from now on, once it's finally back to being clean. I think cleaning your closet at the end of the year makes for a happier new year. So if you all have a closet that's a wreck, a disaster, or some of your cosplay outfits aren't together and you can't figure out where are the pants for so-and-so, where's the shirt for so-and-so, I do recommend at the end of the year, even if it's clean, like just going through, organizing a little bit more, sorting everything. That way at the beginning of the year you start out fresh, everything's nice, you're not stressed out at the beginning of the year because you still can't find anything. Try to do it and then try to maintain. Like, if you take an outfit out, then you go, okay, I'm being gamzy today. Put it on, go about your day, but then put it right back where you found it whenever you take them off. And don't just throw them on the ground or toss the wig cap. Here's the nightmare when you can't find your wig cap, and that is everybody's problem. We cannot find our wig caps. Sometimes it's even in one of your wigs and you're like, okay, I've got so many wigs, where could it be? And it just causes for a little stress. That's not what cosplay is about. Cosplay is about fun, not being stressed out. So keep your environment stress-free and then you're going to have a much easier time being able to get out in your outfit super quick without any hassle. And it's a lot more fun that way. Hoping to get all this done in a few hours. I, honestly, I know it looks like a big disaster and it was even more of a big disaster before I turned the camera on, but I'm a quick cleaner. I just turn on music and I just kind of go at it really quick and I can get it done in a few hours. So no big deal, but let's try to keep everything clean and then Make that a New Year's resolution, that's going to be mine, is to make sure that we are putting things back where they belong, and we'll see how that goes. It's beginning to look a lot like yes. This is far too much power for one man. This is the best. The Morios guy is going to shit himself. Screw the Morios guy. What are you doing? Being powerful. For the love of God. Mm-hmm. Chocolate and milk. And, and white, white chocolate coated Oreos. What? Everything is awesome. Mmm. I have witnessed godliness. You guys. That was the best decision I've ever you, made. You, you gonna share, right? No. This is the best decision I've ever made. And it is complete. Look how well organized. Da, 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 da. Everything is in its proper place. All the shoes are even together. La -di -da -di -da -di -da. It took a little longer than it should have, but that's okay. Now everything is completely where it should be. It'll be easy to find. This is nice feeling. This is a very nice feeling. And it'll be easier to maintain because now we know exactly where everything needs to be put back at. It's so nice. I love having a whole closet full of just my hobby. So awesome. So awesome.
I swear I'm an adult. I just happen to have a bunch of wigs. And a skateboard. This is nice. This is so nice. This is such a cool box. <laughs> That's actually something I painted. I painted the whole front of it and it's got a velvet lining and things. There's stuff in it. Oh. Oh. I forgot about my other figurines. Guys, this is all stuff I am actually selling on Etsy. I handmade all of these things. And, um... So if you want to check out in the description of this vlog, um, there'll be a link to my Etsy store where you can get some things like a galaxy corgi. That's so cute. And it has he, a little hanger. He actually, yeah, he actually hangs like an ornament on a little half moon hanger. And so cute. an octopus incense holder. His little curled tentacle will hold a long stick incense or this is able to actually have a cone incense set on it or an Eldritch Monster incense holder. And as these things are one of a kind, um, as they sell my Etsy store, we'll have new ones that are probably slightly different, but also one of a kind um, on the figurines. And then I also am selling a variety of different sexual orientation pride necklaces. So these all, like when you would buy them, they would come with a necklace, like a, a long rope. They would go on, be adjustable. And kind of some ones that are harder to find. Um, I know pansexual pride is not something you can easily find in the store as easily as you can find various rainbow things. And then I also have plain rainbows and rainbows of different religions and equal sign rainbows. And oh, transgender pride needs to get over there with the rest. And then rainbow pride bracelets because, like, I seriously fucking love rainbows. So I made a bunch of rainbow things and I can't wear them all the time, so I'm selling them. And something to think about, even if you wouldn't buy these for yourself, um, they are fairly inexpensive. They make really great gifts if you know somebody who would like something like this. Who would like to have a, you know, more specified pride necklace or absolutely love cephalopods like I do or anything like that. You guys should totally check it out. All of this was handmade and hand painted by me.